Hello and welcome to another Wilderness Tamed gardening video. This one I'm going to show you how I set up the British made uh, greenhouse irrigation system that I bought from, from Greenhouse Sensations. So you get a 25 litre um, cistern really, sort of a sump to hold the water in. Uh, tap to fit to that and I'm going to show you how to do that um, and then it, the optional self timer and all the tubing uh, which is they say it's designed to go into grow bags the spacing on the irrigation tubes is measured out to match the sort of little holes that you would cut into a, a grow bag to plant your tomatoes or peppers in uh, but I'm using it as you saw before in a sort of an open bed situation but the whole kit itself works perfectly for for what I have so this is how you set up the um, tap to the the water butt so you can see here that there's the actual tap there's a rubber washer and a nut and the nut and the washer go inside the water butt and the tap comes in from the outside so I shall I shall demonstrate tap goes in like that then the washer goes on like so and then the nut tightens in onto that threaded pipe threaded tube and you tighten the the washer up to it. Now I'm going to put this in position. So I've got a little bit of shelf set up on the racking to hold that in place above the, the raised bed. I've got the tubing already laid out but bear in mind uh, this is going to come up another level so it'll be deeper and filled with uh, a better compost mix. So that's the straw from the old straw bales if you remember. I mentioned that in the previous video. Um, so they're well composted. They're into their third year now so they're, they're uh, good for nothing except for compost but that's still good. A nice base to build up on top of. So I'm going to see if I can set you down and demonstrate how to tighten this up easiest way so with one hand inside on the nut and the other side on the tap I'll tighten the nut as hard as I can but then it's easier to hold the nut in place and turn the tap to get it really tightened up and hopefully that is in place and uh, won't let any water come out Now this is the off position, so that's closed at the moment, and then to open it, you turn the tap to point over to the left. And obviously that's the position I'm going to leave it in. I'm now going to connect the automatic uh, timer, which I still haven't bought batteries for. So I'm going to pull that little green collar down as I clip it onto the, the hose, release that and that is firmly held in place. Now we'll go down below and look at the tubing. So the tubing is, so this is a, a long length of uh, tubing without any perforations so that's to sort of bleed from the, the irrigation system, the water butt and the timer to wherever you've got your grow bags or beds or pots that you want to, to water. So that's quite a good length. Uh, I think it's, I haven't actually measured it, I think it's three metres, but it could be, could be more, could be less. Um, and it just pops on to the little peg at the bottom of this, the timer, um, and then you simply push fit it onto the first, I'll just pop that off again. I might pause it. So here's the uh, perforated tube. You can see the 
the perforation there so the water is going to drip from that point uh, into the, the soil or into your grow bag or your compost or whatever and this is the flexible pipe this one here that uh, comes from the irrigation system so you just simply push that together and says missing completely flexible so it pushes um, did you miss that I might have I'll do that again so you can see it's pretty good fix it takes a bit of a uh, bit of pressure to get that off so I'll keep them in view of the, the camera and that's it nice and secure and then they come with a range of securing pegs so you can pin that down wherever you want to stay, wherever you want it to be. But obviously don't put the pin over the irrigation point. Don't put your peg over the top of that. And then you just peg those out. And there's three lengths of the perforated tubing, which clip together in exactly the same way and I've got those pegged in all the way around. And then there's that little red horseshoe clip and you just bend over the end of the hose. It forms a nice tight kink and the water doesn't all leak out the very end there. So there you have it. Nice and simple to put together. Now all that's left to do is fill it with water. I hope you found that useful. Um, the next video may very well be the system filled, batteries in place, and uh, we'll be looking at some dripping pipes. How exciting! Bet you can't wait for that. So stay tuned, subscribe, click the bell, and uh, get out there and get grubby and enjoy some gardening. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.